Hello advanced hires, just to finish off today's lesson, what I'd like to do is look at question five from the 2007 advanced hire paper. Um, this question is a bubble question or a musical map question where you're asked to listen to the music and it'll pinpoint specific points in the music with numbers one, two, three, four, and five, and you have to complete the musical map um, provided. So let's have a wee look at the question. So remember in this question you will hear the music three times. In the first two planes you'll have the numbers being voiced over um, and in the third plane you don't. Uh, I also want to draw attention to the fact that uh, in examples one and two, uh, or bubbles one and two I should say, you have to complete all of the areas and get them all correct to get just one mark. So you need to make sure you've got all of the areas correct to get the marks. Um, Let's have a look at the possible answers and it could be for each of the different areas. So for example, it says a solo type of voice. Um, so think of your voice types, we're going to have soprano, mezzo soprano, alto, counter tenor, tenor, baritone and bass. So it's going to be one of them. It's accompanied by blank, so instruments. So it could be a group of instruments. So it could be, for example, strings, brass, wooden percussion. It could be specific instruments like violins or saxophones or whatever it might be. And those instruments are pl playing um, in an Italian term. So for example, if you had brass, it could be concertino. If it was strings, it could be arco pizzicato, for example. Uh, bubble number two asks you to identify three different woodwind instruments uh, that are playing the arpeggio accompaniment. So listening out to identify three different woodwind instruments. Uh, number three, it's asking you to identify a cadence and an ornament. So thinking of our cadences, we've got perfect cadence, imperfect cadence, interrupted cadence. Uh, we've also got plagal cadence. Um, and then our ornament, it could be trill, mordant, uh, appoggiatura, acciaccatura, turn. So thinking about all of those things when you come to answering that question. Uh, number four is another type of cadence. Um, and then number five, the interval of a slash an. So think of the different intervals that you know. So you probably know tone, semitone, octave, as well as your tritone, also known as your augmented fourth or diminished fifth. Um, so that could be one of those, for example. And then features repeatedly in a phrase played by woodwind instruments who play in. So think of instruments, what can they play in? They could play in unison, they could play in harmony, they could play in imitation, um, they could, yeah. So maybe antif antiphonal actually um, could be there as well. So let's have a listen to this question. Um, my advice to you usually when it comes to the, these styles of question is to write below the bubbles what the possible answers could be and then just leaving those um, lines blank for your final answers. So if this was me, I'd be writing underneath each of those bubbles, for example, what the ornaments are, what the cadences are, um, what the voices are. Um, so I have a rough idea of what I'm picking from. So let's have a listen to question five from the 2007 pass paper. Question five. In this question, you will hear part of a concert aria. A musical map of the excerpt has been laid out for you on page seven. You will see that further information is required and should be inserted in the highlighted areas one to five. There will now be a pause of 20 seconds to allow you to read through this question. The music will be played three times with a pause of 15 seconds between playings. You will then have a further 20 seconds to complete your answer. In the first two playings, a voice will help guide you through the music. The voice will be heard immediately before the music for each of the highlighted areas is heard. It is not included in the third playing. Here is the music for the first time. One. Two. 
two. Here is the music for the second time. One. Here's the music for the third time. Thank you. 
Okay, so if you could send me your answers uh, through Show My Homework and I can mark it and give you feedback. Keep safe and I'll see you next week.